I know her from Bushwick and um, I showed her work. Um, so maybe we could just throw a couple of her images up. Um, she was actually one of the first paintings I sold up there. She worked with markers at the time. So uh, you want to you want to talk yeah. about that a little bit, Lauren? Or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you for inviting me. It's been really cool to see everybody else's work. Like, uh, as Robert said earlier, it's uh, nice to see several people here that um, I have met previously in New York. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Gary, I met Gary in at 56 Bogart when I was uh, traveling from New Hampshire to uh, New York on a bi-weekly basis. Um, it was a little bit crazy, but so- She art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, I mean, it was also part of my job, but um, yeah, it, it's been a real trip. Um, coming from being like a New Hampshire artist in a very small town to living here now, living in Brooklyn and um, reconnecting with everybody that I have seen in that uh, period of time between like 2015 and like basically now. Um, so yeah, oh wait, it went out of the unshare thing. Um, thanks Lisa. Do you have another one? Or you, or you want to go ahead? I'm sorry. Yeah, I can, uh, I, I can, I can start with this. Um, that's fine. Um, so I originally, I made these, I've, I've been at Hunter. This is my first semester at Hunter as an MFA painting student. And I have spent the majority of that time, you know, in quarantine. My studio is at Hunter at 205 Hudson. So I have gone from working with like a full outfit set up to working like in our small apartment living room. So most of the works that I'm doing right now, including this one, are I'm, I'm going to call them sketches for, uh, for larger works like down, down the road. So um, these, yeah, these paintings are all about 10 by 8 inches. Um, I included, and they're all acrylic on canvas, or, you know, the first one was acrylic on paper. Um, these ones, they're, I, I usually make paintings about, like, uh, being at home, about my home. Um, I have a particular relationship with uh, being in the house, as I um, am a caregiver for someone who is often uh, housebound. Um, so we have a very special relationship with being, um, at the house. So now everybody's at home, like in coronavirus. Um, so yeah, to, uh, this painting, this painting here, this first one here, um, is a picture of my sibling and our cat Tor and they're making a, um, I'm going to call it a, a curtain, a curtain for their car. Um, and I often feature some of these like more, I'm going to call them like more domestic kinds of scenes where you're like making something to be put up like within the house or you're creating something, you're like watering something, you're taking care of something. Um, I am, with this one, I'm like trying to play with some new ideas Generally, I have taken a more snapshot approach to painting. And what I mean by that is um, it is very camera oriented or uh, like it, I, I use photos as aids uh, a lot of the time. Um, but I'm trying to, even though I've got several steps in between that like as Gary had mentioned I make a lot of drawings on uh, illustration board do a lot of field sketches of things as well um, I'm trying to move beyond that to a more uh, intentionally placed um, like intentionally placed canvas at first so uh, I, I'm working a lot with like how one places objects with it, how, how like a composition is supposed to work. I'm thinking of it more as a puzzle piece now than I used to. Um, uh, of course, like this, this glove here is very like Josephine Halverson kind of like 
uh, I see like all these gloves along the side, uh, side of the road. So that's a little bit more snapshot-y. But um, the other thing that I'm working with right now is uh, trying to work in a manner that salvages light and uh you know work works quickly works fresh so with the acrylic paintings the ones on canvas in particular i uh you know i mix retarder with my paints um i'm wiping away the surface at first kind of like how you do a, a monotype i cover it with a thing of ink and then i um pull stuff away to to bring out some of that that bat lit effect and this is still like kind of new to me so I haven't done that many paintings with it and then I apply the patterning on top and the color on top and that makes the process much much faster uh, I am a generally a very 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 slow painter even like with very small things I work very compactly so um, yeah I guess that's kind of you know where I'm at with all of these, I would say this, yeah, this, yeah, some of these paintings, I, you know, they're small, but I want to make them like more like four by five feet, like that kind of thing. I just am very limited right now as far as uh, what my studio allows. I, I, I need to store these things in my apartment, so it's a 